So I got a story I feel uncomfortable doing. Then it's the perfect story to do. How are you going to dance around the uncomfortable parts? I don't know how. Oh, this will be fun. Yeah. No, it won't. <laughs> let's I do this. Have... See how far we get, shall we? Well, hang on. Let's do, uh, let's hanging. do mailbag first, shall we? We have a mailbag, technically an email bag. Yes, only um, only two. I mean, technically this an email. time. Or no, only his mailbag. Only four this time. So let's see. Apropos of This is True Really News, episode 598. This is one where you were talking about that darn solar bikini. I don't talk about. Oh, yeah. Okay. That I did, yeah. Chris wants to know where the charging port is. <laughs> Disgusting old man. And the Kia Picanto, which Although I... Although I did look for pictures of the bikini. That's how... <laughs> Kia Picanto, not to be confused with the Kia Pico de Gallo. Right, right, because that's a spicier car with a little more horsepower. Are you speaking English? <laughs> well, Spanglish. Okay. Now, remember we had the Kia Picanto car. They, do, they don't sell them here. Okay. It was over in Europe, and so okay. Chris ran with that in his fevered imagination. Yeah. Are you speaking English? Yeah. <laughs> Are you hearing in English? Apparently not. Everything I hear sounds kind of like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, lucky for you, you've only got Although, like, it's the occasional. <laughs> <laughs> so, basically, I've got mumbles from Dick Tracy and... Charlie Brown's teacher, if they were both gagged. <laughs> exactly. So, pro- apropos of episode 599, we are, uh, from my brother Chris Combs, no relation, <clears throat> we are more related to fungi, yes, than we are to vegetables. That's true. We're very closely related, related to fungi. This explains a whole lot of things when it comes to politicians. <laughs> 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 Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, I like it does. That. And from our man in Liverpool, Patrick Reed, Vladdy. Um, we um, we didn't do the right number of stories. Which time? <laughs> right. So Patrick says, "Dude, you got- <laughs> you're keeping order. If you're keeping track of this, <laughs> could you list them chronologically so we know where?" <laughs> I think it's sort of the box score thing he's doing. He's okay. Remember when you used to go to the uh, Twins Park yeah. and you would get a um, uh, uh, scorecard? Remember the horn they had that filled with uh, root beer? No. Oh, it was sort of cone shaped? Well, yeah, that part I remember. I don't remember it filled with root beer. I remember it filled with root beer, and then you could keep score on the side of it. Did they fill it with root beer? I don't know. Okay. I can't. I've only been to a few Twins games in my life. So so you should remember if you put the root beer in or if they did. (laughs) Well, I think it was Cub Scout age. So see, that looked more like it would be a popcorn thing, dude. Yeah, I know. I know. And at our house, we were just, we were elitist. We just bought the scorecard and the program. Wow. We sit there. Did you grow up in Edina? Oh, no. St. Cloud, we're much snootier. I guess. When we're not mining granite. And (laughs) losing fingers. Oops, wrong way. (laughs) There we are. Unless you're my uncle. Yeah. <laughs> Grandpa? <laughs> uncle. Microphone. Hey, together they could both point. Um, yes, but not in the same direction. <laughs> Patrick says we got to get our counting thing right. Counting to four right. It seems like only 58 episodes ago you stopped at three. Oh, there was one. There's one episode we did two. We're trying to even it out, okay? <laughs> We've had certain people tell us that the show is wonderful, but don't stretch it out to a half hour. You're beginning to be like Major League Baseball. 